the reason I came to India was 10 years ago I came with my family to Bangalore on a family trip and for me seeing the um, poverty of children in India was really impactful for my heart um, especially because my sister was adopted from India it re really made me just connect with on a heart level these with these children and their poverty and I really wanted to come back and help ever since. Um, as I was preparing for the trip to come to India, um, I only decided about two months ago that I really wanted to come. And so I didn't really have faith that I could raise the money or afford the trip. So I applied for the scholarship and I got some money from that, which I'm really grateful for. And then I decided to set up a GoFundMe page to try to afford um, the rest of the trip, the outstanding payment. Um, and I got about 50,000 rupees in about two months, which is, I'm, I'm just amazed by, um, which was truly God, because I didn't have faith that that could happen. And in terms of spiritually, I just read through the book of Mark and the quiet time series that, it was, that was prepared for us. And I just meditated on God's word. As part of my preparation for this trip, I've decided to fund seven children to stay in school for another year and in Hope Foundation School. And I'm aiming to raise 2,000 pounds. And a week before my departure, I've hit 900 pound marks. And the way I raise this fund is actually through selling my postcards and also my photographs um, in my work environment and also in church community. I'm really, really blessed and really encouraged to know that um, people all around the world are supporting what I'm doing. Whilst being in, in India, I've been very fortunate to attend lessons by various disciples. From these lessons, I was able to, I've been able to learn what it really means to be vulnerable and how doing something to help others even whilst I'm scared, can make an impact. I've learned not to allow my worries and fears to get in the way of me getting closer to God and other disciples. So when I went to the Hope Foundation School, um, I saw this lady and she was sitting on the steps and she greeted, so she said goodbye to all the kids when they went home from school. And she worked there, she was a cook there. And I went and sat by her and she didn't speak English, so um, they went to get a translator and she was able to just tell me her story and how she became a disciple from being around all the disciples in the school and how all of her children are now disciples and some of them are married to disciples. And um, after she told me her story, I told her mine and I cried. And when I cried, you know, um, she didn't judge me at all. She pulled me in and she hugged me and she said, don't cry, she goes, it hurts to see you cry. And, um, and that taught me about true compassion, the compassion that Jesus had for all the people. He didn't, he didn't just have compassion for the poor, but he had compassion for the Pharisees too. And um, so I learned what true compassion was from her that day.